In Sunday service here at church, we moved on to the next in our series on the seven deadly sins, which was lust. And in the service, I said that for me, I understand lust to be a habit, a habitual way of turning people into objects in our lives. And that most times, those objects, to be valuable, need to be perfect, unchanging, and really only existing for my pleasure. It's walking through the world, imagining that the people and institutions that I relate with really have to be there for me and never be anything different than I want them to be. For me, that restricts my ability to be in right relationship, which is what Unitarian Universalism is all about. So what we're interested to know this week is how you get yourself unstuck from those moments when you realize that you're treating a community of people or an individual like an object for your pleasure. When you look at the person in front of you and you're requiring them to be perfect and unchanging and for you, what helps you start to see a real, live, lovable human being on the other end of the equation? We'd love to hear from you.